Welcome back to another episode of the Convoluted Podcast. It's your host, Jesus, a.k.a. Tyrant Dominus, and I'm here with Liz. Hey! If it's your first time listening or watching, you can always follow or subscribe. It's free, um, and you can always unfollow or unsubscribe. So, Liz, how has your week been? been okay. Not too shabby. I've been pitching shit at people. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> We're like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. I'm on here today. Leave me alone. <laughs> One of those weeks, huh? Damn. Yeah. People are like, oh, so you get to replace somebody and you're going to be like them and be aggressive? I'm like, oh, I've always been aggressive. Whether I showed, showed it is another story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't know you. They don't know you. <laughs> I've known you long enough to know that. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, some people, you don't, you just never know with some people. Right? Yeah. And it's like, I always, have, I feel like I'm always tiptoeing sometimes with some people because I never know. So. That's true. Mostly um, with any quote new person you're interacting with, right? Because you, that's where you never know. It's like it, it's like that meme. Like, how do you how far do you know until that you get to show them your weird goofy side to another person? And you're like you're just like first introduction, but after a certain amount of time, you kind of gauge like what you can say because everyone's always a little different depending on who they're with, right? With your family, with your friends, with your uh, significant other, and so on and so on. So definitely you have different, um, um, and no better way to say it, but a different mask with different people. But sometimes, you know, that mask got to come off with some people. Yeah, it was, it's been an interesting week, but I enjoy it. I mean, nonetheless, so I can't complain. Oh, um, true. There's a, the one thing we didn't get to ch uh, talk about was, because you, it was the day of, how was Ciderfest? It was good. It was fun. We had a lot of fun. It wasn't super crowded. Um, I think everybody anticipated rain. I mean, it was a, a sprinkle, <laughs> like here and there, and the sun would come out, and then the winds would blow, and then it's like, and you're not quite sure if the wind blowing the, off the, the tents that were, had some water droplets on it. That was the rain. So. It okay. was fun. It was good. I enjoyed some great ciders. I am looking forward to going back next year. Um, hopefully the weather is a little bit better. But I mean, it wasn't super crowded. We got to try a lot of ciders um, because, you know, you tag team. You get one person to get one cider and the other person another and you. <laughs> that's how you do it. Oh, that's how we do it, too. Uh, it is the rainy season around here. So uh, a lot of actually a lot of our plans that we were going to make this weekend kind of went a little bit south. So um, but, you know, you do what you can and you continue. Um, but, yeah, it looks like... The, the, the recording, May the 4th be with you. Yes. Yeah, so and when it's released tomorrow, happy Cinco de Mayo. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, cheers. Salud. Yep, salud. <laughs> um, but, yes. Um, do, you do you have any plans for this weekend? Is that working? Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to a... Pump to Cinco de Mayo kind of thing, so we'll that's see. Nice, nice, that's nice. Um, it's just at a regular pub here locally, and so I was just checking it out to see what it's all about. You know, that's good. Something. That's one way to uh, celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And then we're having carne asada with tacos, so mm, it's gonna <laughs> be good either way. You, you, yeah, you gotta, you have to have something Hispanic. So. <laughs> it's Hispanic enough. <laughs> So we'll see what we're going to have. Well, we're not sure. It's going to be it a basically a gender reveal party for Cinco de Mayo for us. We'll see how that goes. Gender reveal party. Please do keep me in the loop. I want to know. So, yeah, as far as everyone knows, we when we talk about gender reveal parties on this podcast, <laughs> they've never gone good because <laughs> of how wild people get with their things. Um, they, they can be elaborate, but they can be very simple. You know, you get, you get everything from like a, a simple, like cupcake, uh, colors to people, um, like sprinkling, like wildfires. 
You never know with people. Everyone's a little bit I different. Know. A little bit, everyone's a little Hopefully bit different. Hopefully your family's not, not too crazy on that part. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to think of the last ones I've been to. I've been to like at least less than a handful. So probably, let's see, they've done uh, smoke, like colored smoke. So not too not bad. Fine. Nope. Um, let's see, they've done balloon pop. Um, yeah. There's one more and that's not, it's not coming to me. Uh, but yeah, simple ones, like something that's not going to aggressively be annoying to clean up um but you know to each of their own right yep yeah, it was, uh, the last one that my family did and i saw it online was they took a baseball one you know where the poops into powder ones and strikes so Ooh, that's a uh, nice that. that sounds like a fun one yeah um actually talking about individuals recently i was going to bring this up the other week but it's been it's been a while but we, this came up again because we have a bunch of new people at work uh, -oh. uh we found there we one of our old co-workers decided to um basically move to as everyone knows we work graveyard so they wanted to be a day person so we scoffed at them um <laughs> but they were you know they had to go through the interview process again so we were like looking through some fun interesting you know un unique questions you would ask someone not your typical like um uh, do you do you remember the interview you had for your job which one? <laughs> I've your, had some new ones. Your, your current one. I would say your own. Uh, no, nothing really. Put, like, was it your was it your standard? Like, yeah, well, standard professional. Like, yeah, and you know sometimes they're not that bad, but you never really get anything real from some of those. So because sometimes you just want to ask something unique to see what they will say. So we were looking up some that were interesting. Like, uh, one good one, like, uh, in the room you're currently in, Liz, how many balloons would it take to fill that, w that room? What would it be your... Oh, my current room right now? Hmm. With the doors closed? Sorry, what? <laughs> With the doors closed, because remember, I have a... Huh? Well, we'll say yes. Okay. Um, uh, hmm. This is a what, an old 12 by... Well, by eight, I'm assuming. We'll take. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, five hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 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 real answer to that is that there real there's no real answer to it because one, it's more of a, you're giving someone the ability to think on um. Like on their toes. On their toes. Because one, they could be asking questions like, like you said, door open. Is there furniture? Do you remove the furniture? Do you leave the furniture? Are the balloons filled? Are they not filled? See, that's the like the thing you're asking an individual. Like, what is their way of thinking? Go. Um, the one thing I did note as we were looking for some of these questions because they're just gonna be fun, and we we're gonna see if they we're gonna get some of these fun ones. The one thing definitely you never want to tell. A person in an interview when they ask you a question is these three words i don't know do not say ever say those words they are <laughs> interview killers apparently but along the lines well, as we were looking we found one that's really fun that's a it's a it's a line of questions do you want to try it out before we get started sure sure please do okay so to the best I may of, need to brush up my uh interview skills who knows <laughs> all right to the best of your ability and just uh, answer these as honestly as possible. Okay. These are simple questions. They are A and B questions. So you're taking a bus on your way back home. It's been a long day. What are you thinking about? A, I'm just so tired. Can't wait to go home. Why do, uh, why do every day feel the same? Or B, should I rest or work first when I get home? Most importantly, what's for dinner? I have to go with B with B? what's for dinner. <laughs> so, you look outside the window. It seems it's going to rain soon. Suddenly, everything turns into darkness. A, I don't remember this tunnel. Pull out your phone to look at the map. Or B, turn around to see the other people's reaction on the bus. Or should I ask the driver what's going on? Hmm. Probably pull out my phone, not gonna lie. 
Before you can do anything, the bus stops and everything around you starts to float up. Do you A, okay, this is weird, am I dreaming, pinched your arm? Or B, is this a prank, am I getting kidnapped by aliens? <laughs> I'm actually going with that last one because it just makes me laugh. <laughs> Amidst the surprise, your eye catches something drifting past the window. Whoa, so many cats. How cute. I want to give them a hug. Or B, cats in space? That's kind of odd. How do they survive out there? Hmm. 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 Um... I have to go with B. B. Now, before we continue, Liz, from the last question you answered, give me one second. <laughs> the one going back to the, the one where everything floats up, you laughed at the first. Is that honestly how you would react? Or is it pinching your arm? What made honestly, you how I would react. I would honestly react with laughing. Laughing? <laughs> Am I getting it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Continuing on. Okay. Uh, Welcome aboard. A small robot appears and announces, We've reached our destination in five months, in six days, and two hours. You A. Cool. A space cruise. Where are we going? Do I get a spacesuit? This is so exciting. Or B, hey, um, am I in space? How do I get? How did I get here? Where? When can I go home? Why? I think I have to go with A first. The robot just points to the back of the bus, which now looks more like the inside of a spaceship. What do you f want to see first? A. A solar system theme fountain in the middle. I want to take a picture with it. Or B. A cozy corner with a massage chair. I need to sit down and process. I have to go with that one, the massage chair. <laughs> On the way back to your seat, you are surrounded by cats. Unauthorized passenger detected. Capture. Capture. You A. Whoa. What do you mean, unauthorized? I'm a passenger on this cruise. Or B, okay, I have no idea what's going on. How about we calm down and chat for a bit? Uh, B. Suddenly, the robot glides in and whispers something to the cats that make them stop. You A, Bob, thank you, you came to save me, right? Or B, ha, huh, that's right, back off cats, I'm safe to go now. The robots transform into a giant vacuum cleaner and the cats use it to uh, point at you. You A, throw your coats at them and as a distraction, run towards a big green exit sign, or B, run in random directions confusing them, blend in with the crowd. E. You run past the gift shop. Looks like you got rid of them. It wouldn't hurt to get some souvenirs, right? You A, get the Jupiter headphones, wear it to hear people's thoughts, or B, get the Mars watch, turn it, and you can travel time. Time travel. Ooh, I would have to definitely do time travel. The giant vacuum cleaner suddenly emerges in front of you. you uh, you're sucked in its vortex. You A, it's okay. This is all just a dream. I'll wake up soon. Close your eyes and give up. Or B, I'll find a way out. Maybe there's some secret door. I'll look around for a way out. I'll have to go looking a way out. After a moment of darkness, you find yourself back on the bus. Are you all right? The ticket inspector asks. You A, whoa, I, was, I thought I was captured. Never mind. I'm all right now, I guess. Panic and silence. Or B, you won't believe it. I think I just had the wildest dreams ever. Tell him about your space adventure. Uh, B. Space adventure. <laughs> okay, last question here. All right. When you look up, when you look up again, the inspector's already gone. You glance outside the window 
uh, darkness creeps in as the bus enters another tunnel. You A, wait, was that Bob? Or B, oh no, do I have to go through this again? B, oh no, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> okay. So, what that just, that little interview tells me here is that a few little things. Uh, it tells me you're a person that, uh, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but it tells me you're a person that likes to uh, think outside the box. Um, uh, <laughs> loves dad jokes. <laughs> I always love dad jokes. <laughs> uh, is a walking encyclopedia. Walking what? I'm sorry. Exa exactly. Ew, why can't I say ex encyclopedia? Why can't I say that? Yeah. Okay. Knowledgeable. Yeah. Um, but some Wait, of you, am I knowledgeable to you? <laughs> somewhat. In certain places. <laughs> in certain places, yes. Um, but some of your weaknesses, some weaknesses. Some of your weaknesses are you're a bit impatient. Uh, you're allergic to tears and emotions. Uh, and apparently zoning out. You can zone out a lot. Oh, interesting. Uh, I was looking at some of the your, kind of your your other traits. Apparently, apparently you're a very busy person. I'm like, I agree with that. It says, <laughs> I'm always busy. When am I not busy? <laughs> uh, for the most part, you're immediately respond. To, uh, you immediately text response for the most part. And doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, sounds like some of these things. Uh, apparently, you're. Apparently, you quote hate almost everyone and every and themselves. Apparently, uh, quote I might be wrong though. You leave the laundry unfolded, and don't come too close. Apparently, these are some of your traits. Okay. But yeah. Okay, I don't hate everybody. <laughs> I always give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I guess. To a fault. <laughs> But interesting, yeah. That's kind of just a little quiz we found, and uh, our coworker did not get any fun quiz. They went to the, the boring one for like twenty minutes. Like what? Uh, what? What experience did you do to help you learn leaderships? Like boring. I think that was a lot funner. I think it was a lot more fun to actually figure out somebody's personality. Um, some of it doesn't sound like me at all, but well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, like I said, it was one we just we found randomly on the internet when we were just googling weird, strange interview questions, and that one popped up. But like, that seems like fun, and we all took it to see where we're at. Um, but yeah, it was just it's a fun little one. It, it's better than just going your traditional route, but definitely it's not bad to do some traditional questions. Uh, but throwing some uh, some of the interesting ones into the mix, kind of to throw your interviewee into the mix to kind of like just throw them for a loop and like see how they. Like a think on their feet, go for there. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. All right, let's kind of jump into some of these stories then. All right. I'll start with this one because this one, Liz did not hear about it and she's going to be super mad. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, so, okay. everyone, I think most of you guys have heard of this, but a New York DA issues an apology after being caught berating a police during her traffic stop. I'm disciplining myself. Quotes. <laughs> So, uh, I'll read it and I'm going to play the audio later. Uh, the Morn, yeah, the Morn County District Attorney, no, Monroe, Monroe, is Monroe. Monroe, Monroe, my bad. The Monroe County District Attorney, Sandra Dorley, released a public statement on Monday for her conduct during a heated traffic stop that went viral. Dorley shared the pre recorded apology uh, video saying that it was. She is taking full responsibility for the, her behavior during the traffic stop last week that caused kind of video. Uh, let's watch the video first of her berating people before we hear talk to her apology. Find the video. Fifty-five and right, I'm the DA. I was going fifty-five coming home from work. Fifty-five and a thirty-five. I don't really care. Okay. So you can call the Can you come can you no, please no, come no. over here? No. You're on a, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. 
Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands-free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Mm-hmm. You you just admitted to me that you were going 55 and a 35. I'm filling throat. Can you please to leave me alone? It's Christopher, Officer Chris Afouli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're, this no, is a I'm traffic. Not this is a this is a here. legal traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good. Ma'am, can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le- ma'am, this is this legal is traffic stop. stop. Can oh. you please stay over here? No. no. Hey baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir, I stopped her for going fifty five and a thirty five on Phillips Road. On Phillips Road. And Coming she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home and parked in her garage. And now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Alright. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic yes, stop. Here's Thank your phone you. back. I understand the law better than you. Would you just Nine five three. You can you have a line. supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my house. I don't know why I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going. I was, okay, 55. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah, there were I, other people on the road, too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. Damn. So, so yeah. So, just here. okay, just hearing that. What are your thoughts, Liz, of the the gall of this district attorney? Wow, she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips, I guess, huh? I can avoid the traffic. I didn't see you. I ba ba ba. So there's she's n- obviously lying. Cause <laughs> what do you mean she's lying? The way, she, the way she, the, she's acting, you know what I mean? You see somebody's motion. She's like trying to hide, get away from it. Like mm, I didn't do it. No, no. Okay, so we there's more to she's that. She's acting like it, but I mean, she's acknowledging. I think in a way too. So, no, like, she. Oh, so there's away. more I'm to it. Uh, I wish this had more. If I can find out, I'll, I'll look for it. But uh, at the, there's later more to it where she says like she'll just um, kind of wave the uh, the ticket away from her because she can. Because she's more like yeah, don't worry about it. Like I thought you were gonna run my plates and you were gonna leave me alone. So what what are your thoughts here and then if I can I'm gonna try to find the... oh. I'm all for women in power, but that is definitely abusing the power. Not utilizing it well. So let's uh, let's continue. So last Monday I failed you and I st- um is there a video and the standards. Uh let's see, does her video play? Mm, no, her video does not play. Oh wait, it does? Oh yeah, her video's playing. Oh my god, it's dumb ads. The district attorneys had acted this way, I would have disciplined them. So I'm disciplining myself. Is the audio playing for you? Assistant district attorneys had acted this way, I would have lost. That's at the end of the day, you called not your choice. You know that. Now you, now you made it a bigger deal than it needed to be. The audio playing for you at all? I'm sorry, everyone. Is it quiet on your end, too? What do you want us to do? Not do our job because it's you? No, it's fine. It's right in your face. I can hear it. You can? Yeah. I can't hear anything. It's very quiet. You have to up the volume. Oh, it's already max on this thing. Anyway. Uh, let's see, uh, oh, we'll just read it. Uh, do you want to read her statement in, in your, in your voice? Sure. sure. In, uh, in, I'll try. Just see, uh, just be, yeah, in the quotes and I'll read the other parts. Last Monday, I failed you and the standards that I hold myself to. And for that, I am so sorry. I, what I did was wrong. No excuses. I take full responsibility for my actions. Totally explained in her video. And it goes on. Do you want me to continue? Yeah, just keep going. I was dealing with the three homicides that occurred on that weekend. I watched a video there on an innocent cab driver who was executed, and I was still reeling from the frightening medical concern that my husband received that afternoon. 
So uh, yeah, so so she reported her enrollment. Okay, we don't care. Who was caught going fifty five in a thirty five? That's what was announced in the video, where she admitted she actually admitted she was doing in that video. The district attorney did not pull over, and the officer followed her with lights and sirens. What we they were hearing, your show, and the the video obtained by uh, WXXI and other outlets throughout the Freedom of Information Act requested shows that the officer was walking up the driveway into her garage where she parked her vehicle. In the video, the officer asked Dorley, Dorley to cooperate, but she refuses. Uh, in exchange with the officer, we were hearing her excuse. I don't care, she said. Yeah, we heard that. If you give me a trip to... Okay, here it is. If you give... Here, read that. <clears throat> if you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it. Just go ahead and do it, Doyle said. The officer responds, I just don't understand the hostility. I understand you're coming home from work. Okay. Uh, at one point, the exchange, Doyle calls the officer an asshole and tells him to get off their fucking house. The other officer is heard saying that she keeps defying his commands to come outside. Following the release of the video, the New York um, New York Democratic Governor Kate, uh, Kathy Hocho? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, said she is seeking a state investigation and is referring to Dorleen to the co uh, the commission of uh, prosecutorial conduct. Conduct. Found the release of the police body cam footage showing her claim she is above the law, attempting to use her public office to evade responsibility and acting unprofessionally towards the police officer, and simply trying to do his job. That's actually good. It's one of those things where you get you're caught. You never know what they what else they've been doing, right? So I think we kind of get the gist of it. Yeah. Like, do you accept her apology? Not really. It just feels like she's being forced to say it because you can see like she's reading off of, like of a signboard. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's or reading a script. That she's reading has a script. her speech on there. So. Yeah, she's reading a script. A she's, yeah, yeah. Like it's a pre-written statement. You know. Yeah. You. you I, just... I I don't know. It just doesn't feel. Like legit, what's that word? Um, like emotions, like the actual, like truly guilty emotions. I think she didn't know she's using, she's utilizing her power, and she doesn't care. We we can give her the benefit of the doubt of having a a stressful week. Uh, I can only imagine what district attorneys have to deal with. Is that what she is? Let me double check before I get that wrong. Yeah, district attorneys have to deal with. Uh, like we, everyone has different jobs, and like we can only imagine. But that still does not give her the right to be above the law. Mm -hmm. um, she is the law. She needs to act the law. Yeah, that's kind of why. Our wait, our district attorney is appointed. Some um, yeah, depending on the state and counties and blah 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 blah, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, people, Political. you know, depending if, if she was or wasn't appointed, you know, she still has to be there um, to hopefully uphold the law and to the best of her ability and then be abiding by that. But with her attitude, the way she, uh, you know, that, there, there's only so much you can give the benefit of the doubt to. Um, I don't, ex this is, this is one of the reasons why, well, one of the reasons um, people don't like the the way the system works because you could see when she just li she literally called the police chief to just tell him hey, like tell him to shut up and leave me alone. Yeah, that was absolutely disrespectful on so many levels. He was just trying to do his job to keep the the people the streets safe, and she just the thing is some way like just. Leave me alone. I'm above you, kind of thing. Without, the thing is, she above. she could have got away with it too if she just would have. She would have got pulled over. She would have got the ticket for speeding, and then she would have went home frustrated. And she yeah. probably and she probably could have got the ticket waived because of, but because she made it more uh, of a spectacle, and because of the what was the act called? It's so, outrageous either way. <clears throat> the the freedom of information act that we're able to see luckily thanks to that we've been we've been we've been watching more body cam footage lately and luckily we are able to because this is where we're able to catch things like this like 
Yeah. We, before, we probably would not have been able to find this, right? Mm-hmm. So absolutely not. It's not always accessible at the hands back in the nineties. Now it's, I mean, granted that stuff only started rolling out in the last early, early to late thousand. So exactly. So yeah, I, I, it's very disappointing that this is where, well, not disappointing. It's not surprising. Let's say that this happens all the time. Mm hmm. Um, what? Any other thoughts on the on this case? Because yeah, it's sick. Nope. Hope she gets more at thrown at her because I feel like that was just just the tip of what most people would get through. Um, yeah. You want to continue with the, sure. the the horribleness of the world? Sure. Why not? Uh, do you want to talk about the the New Jersey dad? You hear about that one? Mm, maybe. Been avoiding murder ones. <laughs> Not a murder one. No one got murdered this one. Potentially. Accused killer, New York dad, uh, New Jersey dad, Christopher Greger, who forced his son to t- run on treadmill, claimed his ex coach boy to lie about abuse. Where's the son to run on a treadmill claim to his ex-coach boy to lie about abuse? Okay. Doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. uh, New, New York. Remember, New Jersey, the news articles need to get all the buzzwords on there. Yeah. A New Jersey dad charged with killing his six-year-old son. Did I just tell you? I saw this one, and I did not want to read it because it was sad. Hey, we uh, got to continue. We got to keep. We got to let the people know. To uh, bruising... Uh, treadmill workout uh, claimed his estranged ex coach, uh, the boy, into lying about his alleged abuse. Christopher Craiger, 31, told a t- state child services worker that little Corey Michello, uh returned from a scheduled visit with his mom on April 2nd, 2021, and confessed that she coached him into lying just hours before the battered youngster was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Wait, were they, back- were they separated? That's what I'm reading, right? It's saying it's just yeah they're essentially separated. Okay, it's, so just so we can get the context. My son came back this morning and he said uh, he said it was saying that his mom said that he had to tell the doctor that I hit him. Gregor told a child abuse hotline staffer Richard Cicerone, uh, according to a recording played on the accused killer dad's murder trial Thursday, the Ashbury Park Press reported. <clears throat> Uh, he came home and one of the first things he said is, I don't want to go with mom anymore. He's, he's going, she's going to try to take me away from you, Gregor said. Uh, and that was what he was being coached in, right? hmm And okay. he also told, said, mom told me to lie and I had to. Okay, so he was coaching her, coaching him to lie and then lie about his mom lying, Right. So basically, he was coaching his son to say it was um, the mom's fault. Mom's fault, exactly. Okay, but we get the gist of it. Because uh, what, for the most part, what happened, if you kind of get later, because apparently there's video footage of this too, for some reason. Yeah, there is, because you can see it on the gym. Yeah, so he was, he, yeah, gym. he forced his child to run on a treadmill continuously. Um, because. Quote, he he thought he was fat. That was the quote. Um, and he just kept falling off because he was on high it's speeds. Time, said. Now, anyone anyone knows that if you run on a treadmill and you fall, those things hurt like a bitch. Like, did you ever run those, run on those things as a child for fun? No. No. <laughs> I think I knew the only outcome of that situation. Oh. I'm going to fall back and I'm going to hurt myself and this is not going to be fun. <laughs> you did not have fun like we did. Like we would do stupid <laughs> shit. We would do stupid shit with, we had a treadmill uh, and all of us would just see how fast we can do it. And before we'd all slip and fall and then we just do get up again. But we were probably all between eight to 12 years old. Um, and we, we stopped. Yeah, you got hurt. You got, someone got too hurt. <laughs> It's time to, time to stop. <laughs> like if someone got hurt and started crying, 
That's a that's a sign to stop. Mom and dad rolling. <laughs> exactly. That's kind of that's always a sign. Like someone starts crying. All right, we got to stop having fun. <laughs> but but yeah, oh, definitely definitely uh, just being uh, just forcing a six year old uh, to do this, and then on top of that, no, not seeking medical help or did but a little late and didn't false fine. That did not help at all. Mm -hmm. Um. The boy fell six times after falling to keep up with the speedy treadmill. Yeah, this guy is a horrible monster. And uh, does this say how long he might go to uh, prison for at all? I was just looking at that. Um... Because this guy deserves life at this point. What What are your thoughts when things like this happen? <laughs> Really, it's what's sad is that it's always the children that suffer between a divorce, separation, anything of that nature. It's it it's disgusting to see how people will make their kids do anything, lie about anything to make things look good on their end. It really is upsetting, nonetheless. You know. Oh, you can actually watch the video. I'm not going to watch that video. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, I'm reading some of the comments on this thing. Apparently, he throws the child uh, back on the thing where he hits his chest and head on the moving treadmill. Ooh, God damn. Jesus. Um, but anyway, hor uh, this hor uh, uh, is there another thing what's going to happen to this guy? Because this, what do you want the f for this guy to go through? I hope he gets life in prison. The kid did not deserve it. That kid was not even remotely fat. In fact, that he was just 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 treating his son like shit. That's just shitty. He's a shitty human. Whatever he his um internal processes and he expelled it on the child. Never good. Never good. Sad. Really sad. Oh wow, this is a while ago, actually. It's wild. The video. Uh, yeah, it says from 2021. Yeah, I said that that would happen in 21. Oh, wow, it takes this long. Gotta love yeah, talking about the justice system. It takes forever. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to find anything. Just... Text message. They're in court. There's photos of them in court. I can't find any sentence. I didn't see any sentencing either. Or not sentencing, it's like I... potential thing. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the case is not closed yet, right? As far as you can tell. Yep, they're still going. <laughs> but yeah, this guy just definitely deserves... Oh wait, I think I might have found something. I'm trying to find something may find... Receive warrant. Nothing yet. Damn. Um, they do not have anything. Oh yeah, he def definitely deserves like life in prison, castration. No more children for him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's it, it's these things where. What was it? There was someone who made a comment as a joke, but it's sometimes you just feel it's real. It's like you should get a, basically get a license to. Him. Have children because some people just don't deserve to have children. No, actually, we'll see what their mental state is at too. Because yeah, before, during, and after. Because, and yeah. before and after, during and after the divorce. I mean, <laughs> I think that's what the government should do. Like people say, like don't regulate this or regulate that, but sometimes you know, it would save a lot of hiccups if they just regulated some stuff. Because, like I said, children are always put in the middle of these nasty divorces. Some of them are, you know, amicable and they split on good terms and stuff like that, and or then continue to raise the kid in good terms and spirits and all that. It's just it's very frustrating to see that it had to wind up being death. 
make this divorce actually go through, but now that there's no custody involved now. Exactly. No. So let's hope he goes to life in prison and but he probably what he'll get probably 10 20, years? 25 years. 25 you think 25 years? I don't know what New York Jersey's top thing for uh Oof. manslaughter of a child. Oh, we'll find out. Uh if we follow up with the story. But uh what story do you want? Do you want to read to liven it up? Hmm, how about this? A man tries. Okay, go for it. Man tries to board flight with snakes in his pants at Miami airport. <laughs> Florida. It's a Florida man story. We haven't had a Florida man story in a long time. You could have just said Florida. Snakes. man. You could have literally just read Florida man tries to board flight with snakes in his pants. You could have just read it that way. <laughs> no way. The snakes were discovered by Transportation Security Administration officials, TSA, on Friday, April 26th. Plane, <clears throat> excuse me, a plane flying out of Miami International Airport almost had a group of slithery travelers on board. Transportation plane, you know, snakes on a plane. <laughs> yeah, that's basically. It. I was not going to make the joke because that's too obvious. <laughs> it is obvious. The transportation Bruh. security officer, the official, uh, not, officials announced on X, formerly known as Twitter, that the bag of snakes was hidden in. Uh, found him in a passenger's pants on a checkpoint on Friday, April 26th. The passenger, identified as man by WBBH-TV, hid the snakes in a small green camo bag. TSA officials gave a glimpse of the bag through three different photos included in the post. And look at that shit. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Looking at the photos. One of the photos showed two pink snakes crawling around the exterior of the bag with white packaging material around them. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay. According to the announcement, officials from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and the Miami-Dade Police Department were called to the scene, and the snakes were turned over to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Uh, oh, w WFTV reported that the passenger was attempting to go on an international flight and was denied boarding after the snakes were found. People <laughs> has reached out to the Miami-Dade Police Department for comment. Uh, oh, the, uh, okay. the, so I'm trying to figure out yeah. why he was trying to do it, but so it's just imposed restrictions on live animals. Oh, okay. It was just an animal trafficker. Right? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was trying to like I was trying to see if there was like some drug thing or something, but no, it's just he was just trying to get these snakes. I thought it was funny. I was like, we need a little lighten up story here. I think this. It's is a weird like story. It, it definitely is. A guy <laughs> literally is trying to sneak the snakes in his pants. It's a dumb story. It's internationally, it wasn't just locally. It was internationally. True. <laughs> it might it might be a little bit nefarious. He might have been trafficking these. Definitely, because it might not be allowed in the country. Because that does happen a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, didn't kind of say what kind of snakes they were or anything, but no, uh, that's... and that's fine. It just 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 the the stupidity of the as far as airline stories, man. There's one story definitely that's um, that I need to do more research in before we talk about it. But you heard about the you heard about the recent um, the second whistleblower for Boeing. I think so vaguely. I'm. I read so many article titles in the last. Okay. Few, did you so. Did you hear about the first whistleblower? What happened to him? No. Maybe I don't know. He was found. Hard. He was found in his car, uh, unalive. And there was a. And then, but the days before that, he told family and friends because he was excited to go to court that if he. If he ever was found like that, he did not do it himself. So he was, quote, allegedly assassinated. And this guy. Dirty, dirty. And then the second whistleblower just recently died. Who was apparently in reasonable good health, was found dead of illness. So he is allegedly assassinated as well. Wow. Wow. That, that's a great company to work for. Or never snitch. 
but like I said, it's it's something that we you we would need to do a little bit more research. But yeah, like it's it's one of those things where they've been in they've been in hot water, definitely, definitely in oh, hot yeah. water, and it is it's wild that of the stories we've been hearing and all the accidents and there's probably still some happening that aren't making major media news because they did uh, uh like down a couple right just to for checks but that's costing boeing like millions ton, tens of millions of dollars and and it's probably not boeing that's doing <laughs> the alleged assassinations probably some up heads like just like hey we need to shut these guys up because yeah the more they're on the news the more it's going to hurt their reputation overall uh what cause... i can't understand is why didn't <clears throat> why didn't government knew about these whistleblowers protect them a little bit more at least the second one right after what happened to the first one yeah. after what happened to why the didn't first... they move them like oh we're gonna take them to x y and z because we know that they will get targeted a b and c so it, it is definitely going into the conspiracy route you just never know sometimes with this stuff because who, who would who would who would think that right who would think that that a person like whistleblowers definitely mostly in a high value company it's like it is something big no, no, no doubts about that. And uh, you know, you can always pay somebody from the inside, right? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know it's happening. Just like we found that guy with the uh, drugs who works for the uh, corrections officer. <laughs> exactly. They could have paid him off, and things of that nature. But you know, it's just it might have been just easier, or it could be. It could be a what a fun a fun one that I I was looking was looking into was the first whistleblower was potentially um, assassinated, but then they a different person went after this one to add even more fuel to the fire of potentially a alleged Boeing assassination. So people are now outside people are just to fuel the fuel it. So it's one of those things that just it just that's what what, what these type of conspiracies are. But definitely two people are are gone because of it. So that's the thing. But and definitely two critical people for what they're we're trying to do. Um so yeah, it it's it's wild. Like I said, it's something we might need to do a little bit more research before we go any more in depth before we start spouting anything, right? Yep. Before we found we're found undead <laughs> undead. Mm-hmm. Like one day Liz is just working. I said her itchy scalp is just uh found over. <laughs> she OD'd, man. She OD'd. I got you. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. She was she was in a pharmaceutical. Yeah, that makes very sense. <laughs> it's scary, right? Yeah. yeah, it is, definitely. All right. I like that that was just kind of a side tangent to a more potentially never know. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's we talk. There's a continuation story to to what was to what Texas was trying to do. So the, so the Supreme Court declines to block enforcement of the age verification requirements for porn sites. Remember when we were talking about this? Like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, to <laughs> say, yeah, I'm of age. Click. So yeah, it's one of those things. What were you remember your initial? Th- thoughts of this potentially going through um i was all for it i think just because i was you know helping eliminate potentials you know problems for people having access to things they shouldn't have access to so i believe that was my my take it takes a bit yeah it's been it's been a while since we talked about this it's been a minute i'm like i think that's what i said (laughs) it's fine i'm trying to remember as well I remember, I was thinking, I'm trying to you think. You were playing devil's advocate. I remember a little bit of that. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's hard to regulate this without trying to give people's information. And there's always going to be a way to get around it. That's a problem. I think that's what I was saying. But 
people don't have to worry about it because it's not going through as far as I know. Let's continue and find out. The Supreme Court on Tuesday allowed Texas to, enfor to enforce to wait. Tuesday court on Tuesday allowed Texas to enforce age verification requirements for porn site, rejecting a request from adult entertaining uh, entertainment industries to block the law on the First Amendment grounds. Wait, so they did? Uh, Wait, did I read that right? You read it, Liz. Supreme Court on Tuesday allowed Texas to enforce age verification requirements for adult sites, rejecting a request for the adult entertainment industry to block the law on the First Amendment grounds. So they did pass it. It right? sounds like it. Oh, did That's I read the title wrong or is the title <clears throat> wrong? It declines to block. Oh, I did. It's two negatives. Declines to block. Okay, so they did. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's find out what happened here. The Texas new law requires any website that publishes a sustainable amount of content that is harmful to minors to verify the age of users. The challengers decided that the laws also force adults to identify themselves before accessing porn pornography. Uh, which the group's lawyers say violates access to free speech online. The trade group represents the adult industry, uh, uh, entertainment industry filed an appeal at the Supreme Court and then asked the court to block the law while that appeal is considered. The underlying appeal is still pending. The Supreme Court offered to exp uh, no explanation for its decision Tuesday, come for decisions on its emergency docket. There was no note. Uh, Disassent. Okay, is there anything more to this? So, oh, so this is where this is now where it's going to get interesting when it comes to adult content. Uh, because what really, because there's a lot of way to get adult content online. Uh, What's I'm trying to think the most one of the the most popular ways besides going to an adult website is literally going to Reddit. Reddit most most of the time is adult content. Um, they're alone. So, are you gonna now need to verify through Reddit because they have features that? And I know a lot of sites are not gonna be allowing traffic to these areas now. It's interesting to see. Uh, until apparently it's, there's a pending appeal, so, but what, what are your thoughts here, Liz, now that it, it's been gone through? I just think about, you know, kids are smart and they'll figure out things that get around it, you know? So I was thinking about a VPN. We were just talking about VPNs just last, last time. <laughs> exactly. And there's always ways, like there was ways to always try to find uh, adult content. Even if you didn't need to, you could just look up on just Google for basically boobs and you just get boobs. <laughs> um, you can go to YouTube and there's and like in that, in that, in that you can find uh, adult content on on YouTube, if you've tried really hard, it's very scary how, how like unmonitored it is. It's one of those things where I, we, I, we, we talk outside of this, that, um, the lack of, the lack of parental oversight can really mess some people up. You just don't know what your kids are watching because you can just put them on one of those tablets and they can just be on those autoplays and you just never know what's going to autoplay next. Mm -hmm. So, and they're straight up. <laughs> There's literally straight up like, 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 like horrible stuff's on there. Uh, I'll send one to you later, Liz. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. What, you want me to video my reaction to? <laughs> oh God, no, it's fine. It is. It's, it's, it's the thing is, it's, it's a problem for a lot of things, but the overall thing is just, just monitoring what your individuals are watching. Like, here's my question to you. When, when, when was, how old were you when you first saw adult content by this definition, what they're using? Mm, mid teens. I don't think. 
it's anywhere between 13 and 15. Uh, maybe more like my 15. Okay, wait, let's see. 15 or 16. What is maybe? adult content know. for them? What's the definition? Because there's a lot of movies. You just saw booms. Like, like there's a lot of 80 movies. I just, you know, would that be considered adult content? That's the question here. What do you, what would, what, what's the, okay, what is our, what is our definition of adult content for the, the show? I don't know about you, but I think it's uh, basically uh, in a course <laughs> movie. You think so? Yeah. That Not seems religion. too. That seems too straightforward. Wouldn't wouldn't you consider? I mean, boobs are boobs. I mean, they're meant to feed. They're just like anybody else's nipple. I mean, <laughs> hey, that's why right. to this day women can't show them. You know that. I know. Um, Except on the naked bike ride. I'm trying to think. Then. So as far as this show for your for your definition, I think like twelve. That's when I first saw adult content on television. Kind of thing. Yeah, using your I guess definition. The Titanic would be like that cusp of it. You see, that's the thing. It's hard to just to really get into. Here, let's let's see what the definition is. Definition. Well, that just works. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're gonna use the Wikipedia off uh um uh, definition for pornography. <clears throat> pornography. Uh, uh, con oh my god, con colloquially known as porn or porno, has been defined as sexual, a uh, sexual subject matter such as pictures, videos, text that is intended for sexual arousal. So that is the definite. Do you agree that's going to be our definition for porn yeah, for the show? Right. Yeah. For the show? Yeah, okay, so show, yeah. so yeah, so then it would probably be probably even younger because you would. Eh, or sexual arousal, mm, probably ten. Then, if you're talking about like yeah, old movies, to get younger and younger these days. But that's different now. Like, so using that definition, what what was the first time you saw um, adult content using this definition? I think I was somewhere around sixteen. Sixteen, interesting. Um, okay, but yeah, it, and it should, now it's different because you can you can see it anywhere. And it's on everywhere. Mm. Um, it can literally be pff, literally the age of five. You can watch it on TV. You can watch it on any site. You can watch it on the ads. Plain. Uh, I even sent you photos of uh, like those like targeted ads where like, huh, those that's funny. Got us and lose this one. It's like it's everywhere. So, yep, it the, is. like, are they going to be just like stopping those two? That's the thing. Is like. Does this stop that in Texas? That's the real question here. Yeah, I didn't really specify as I've, if I read the article a little bit more, and there's not much more to it. So. There's not much more. It's just it's it they they it went through. They're gonna stop it, but now the question is like, what is considered that? Uh, what what does what is what is being what is allowed and what is not allowed? That's the next question now. Like definitely hmm. like like sites like those. Definitely adult sites are gone, but then there's sites that provide some level of of those, what we read, of uh, sexual arousing content. Like OF, like OF is that, to an extent, are, is that gone too? You know? Yeah. Reddit, yeah. is that going to be gone too? So, like, where, 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 where does it stop? Where does it... Where's the line stop and where does it begin? Basically, it won't. It's going to be a full on circle, just a con continuous like dilemma and fate. And will we ever have an answer? Probably not. Not anytime soon, but there's going to be a lot of fighting depending on sites and stuff like that. Uh, some sites more than others, but it it's. Do you see this as a positive or a negative? Conflicted. Oh, how so? 
I see it as great as potentially, you know, blocking the youngins, but then we're going to see that freedom of expression be uh, filed a little bit. So, I mean, there are people who, who like doing this work, and that's their moneymaker. And, oh, know? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's true. Because, not, because they can't access the sites. Oh. No, okay. The thing is, it's not that they can't access. We're getting, we're getting to, not that they can't act. The sites aren't gone. The the, the problem no, no, is, no, they're not the sites are not gone, but it's just annoying like, to get to them now. So it's just a, mm -hmm. a next level of things. So that's a, that's where we're. I think that's where we're getting. I'm getting caught up a little bit. They're not gone. They're not, not gone. gone. The uh, anonymity be harder to us. The, and, and the great for the younger population not to have access to them, but it's going to be definitely annoying for the person who wants to get their kicks off. <laughs> Just like that guy who's upskirting, probably couldn't get his access to his upskirting sites. So, so yeah, so there, that's the thing. It's it's the the annoyance. How how diligent are people going to be going to? Okay, so th I think this is now going to be a little bit good for the kids bad for the overall majority of adults because then you'll go to sketchy sites things that would go and things chances to get um get viruses on your the, the things you're viewing it through or just going through just weird things it's it, this is where yeah this is where it gets gets slow because no one no one wants to give up their anonymity online like you and me mm -hmm. barely do because we show our faces uh but that's because we're willing to put our faces to the things we're saying, right? Like, mm -hmm. this is where it's going to get interesting for the the average, the overall uh, adult user. Whether they do it or not, that's a question. And it might help along because there has been a, a rise. We we've talked about on the show a rise on. Uh, uh like pornographic addiction and just the overall brutch it uses so we'll see how this turns because we won't see any real scope in for a couple years because mostly it's it's well texas is a huge state so it's a um, mm -hmm. you'll you'll get a huge like um a huge sample size right from there so we'll we'll see how it goes, um, and go from there. Because yeah, you're you're blocking access to something that people basically use, like every day. Like there's no doubt about it. So, um, what are your final thoughts on this? I think I've expressed it pretty well. So I think so. Okay. We'll Let's find see. out. I guess what it plays out to be. I mean. Or ever see the full functionality until actually like fully implemented and it's working well, say. Oh. True, because that's it. The, the implement the implicate implication, not implication, how they implicate it uh, will be the thing. That's why, like, what are they using to uh, age verify? Is it safety to age verify? That's where I think more so the people are going to have issues with. Um, luckily, we don't have to worry about it. But um, you never know; it might go nationwide. It's not impossible. Um, but you know, one state at a time, right? That's how it worked. Right. It was with weed. It took a couple of states to get that all sorted, and even that's having its trouble right now. Yeah. Yes. But that's a story for another day. So let's call that it for today, everyone. Uh, any final thoughts for any of the stories today, Liz? The father gets uh, rotten jail, <laughs> uh, and that I think there should be serious, more serious ramifications for the district attorney. Uh, district attorney. So yeah, I agree on those points. Yeah, people need to be held more accountable for their actions. I think that's the 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 gist. theme of this episode today: <laughs> the accountability. Accountability. Yeah. All right, then, everyone. Thanks again for listening or watching on any of the podcast platforms or on YouTube. Uh, like I said earlier, you can uh, you can always follow or subscribe. Uh, share the show on, on any of the social medias that you might use. Uh, or just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Uh, you know, that's the best way to let the podcast grow. 
But yeah, Liz, thanks for joining me. Until next time. See you. Bye.